Welcome to Money Congos, where we discuss personal finance and investment tips. We are committed to helping people create wealth and achieve financial freedom. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Clubhouse and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube and podcast. Alright then, let's head into today's conversation. Hello Adam, how are you doing? Hello Adam, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm good though. I just set up going home. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I hope uh, the network will be I will get food. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> but I might have some a little bit crappy internet, so uh, bear with me. No problem, no problem. I'm sure by when you are passing near Mimi's house, the internet will be sketchy. You know, <laughs> 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 Not maybe catching stray bullets. Hey, what did you say? What did you do? Oh, I just said he's oh. on his way home. So I said by the time he passes your your uh, near your house, then the internet will get uh, sketchy. Oh, shall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how you doing, Ruby? I'm fine. When you came, you. I'm great. great. Hey, I saw having called you about our thing. Eh, oh, please do call. Mm, yeah. Call and let us see what we can do about the thing that I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Prince. Hey, big man, Prince. Please do come up, join us, and let's uh, let's have a hearty conversation. Sugar daddy. I see it. We know. Sugar daddy. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's that. <exciting. laughs> hey. Prince, you are spoiling things. You know, it's a, it's a very appropriate title for the know, conversation right? we are having. Mm, sugar Daddy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Edwin, I see you in the audience. Feel free to join us as we have this conversation. Today, it's it's, it's going to be on um, the, the title. Where's, where's Serum? Serum preferred a different title. A more... So that's a provocative or descriptive title. How a gamin can affect your money. Uh, you know, we want to stay international, so keeping it as an English word. But yeah, we are looking at it from both from both a man's side and a woman's side. How people can be affected by their edges. It's not going to be a, a, a moralistic conversation. It's just going to be looking at practically speaking how the how your funds and your finances can be affected so um yeah we'll get straight into it mimi what 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 comes to mind when you you hear this title hi mimi <laughs> sorry speaking, my mm-hmm. son has put on the tv so there's a lot of noise in the background um okay. yes and um, you saw what comes to mind when we talk about so i didn't hear the question yeah, what what comes to mind when you see this title? Uh, well, um, when I see this title, honestly, I the first thing that comes to mind is uh, this uh, psychic thing. You know, I don't really see it. Like, I don't think about women struggling from some of these things. Like, the first thing that comes to mind is like a man overspending you know on women that that's what comes to mind mm, okay 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 hmm. you'll be you'll be interested to know uh, when we get to the woman's side i have a few points okay so this topic me you mainly think about men okay men spend money on side chicks okay cool 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 prince how are you doing i'm doing fine ellie kem yourself i'm great so oh, great Charlie, i heard your your nickname is sugar daddy I don't know about that, though. <laughs> I, I really don't even know where, who gave I don't even know who. I, I gave it to you. I gave it to you right now. <laughs> uh, what, what happened? What happened? Uh, later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really, you are making accusations on the internet that you don't want to back up on the internet. Uh, but sugar daddy, me, it, it could be that he's a sweet man. What's your problem? <laughs> hey, on this day with this topic, is that the definition? Please. Oh, no. Anyway, Prince, um, what are your what are, what are your thoughts when you see this title? 
how promiscuity can affect your money, or as Sayram would prefer it, how Idramaya can affect your money. Okay, so for me, I think it, it's something that is really happening. Um, and for me, I think it's, 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 it's both ways. So it's, it's either um, affecting the men, and it's also women are also doing it. Uh, maybe men might do more than the women, but I know um, women are also engaging in, in, in some of these. So for me, I feel um, the and majority of the impact is on the men because sometimes um, looking at how the world has come so far, um, normally the women are at the receiving end. It's only few of them that are at the paying end. So I think it affects both sides. So for me, and it's something which is a very is cause for concern. In, 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 if you really want to uh, achieve financial independence, it's something that you really have to pay particular attention to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's it's something you also think it's something that affects both sides. All right. So let's let's get into it. Let's look at the ways. Okay. Um, just to make it clear, so in case anyone doesn't understand uh, or. Perhaps let's define the scope of this conversation, the word promiscuity, so that we understand it. One person who is running around chasing men or women all over the place, uh huh, don't want to choose one to stick to. You have many gardens, many farms you are watering and spreading your wild seeds inside, uh huh. So, so that's kind of the context, trying to keep it clean. Okay, so, um, anyways, let's separate. While someone is single, that's while someone is not married, from while someone is married. All right. So let's start off with while you are while you are not yet married. How can this kind of behavior, or another way you can put it, is a sexual indiscipline? Uh huh. Maybe that's another nice way to put it. So um, I thought I saw Sarah in the audience were waiting for her to come up to share her opinions. Well, let let me share a few thoughts about when someone is not yet married. How this kind of attitude. Can affect your money. I remember some many, 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 many years ago when I was fresh out of university. When I was in when I was in university, I was broke. So I wasn't doing woman, woman matter too much. I wasn't chasing women all over the place. I was almost always, you know, in a relationship or talking to a, a girl, yes, but it wasn't so giddy giddy. But when I started working, when I started working and there was some money coming into my pocket, had some stability, the the path was clear. Then that is when my libido also decided that, okay, okay, now I'm going to come out and play because you've got all the fundamentals, Maslow's theory. So you've got all the basic things out of the way. So me too, it's time for me to come out and play. So I was, I was, I, I was a bit active, but then I, I, I realized something. Not having a full course means after I work, yeah, I work very hard, work many hours, but I'll spend a lot of time going, uh, talking to different girls, maybe going on dates, meet this person here and there. Or in fact, back in the day, it wasn't even so much as going on dates, just driving around, going and meet this person, going and meet that person. You know, wasting a lot of time and effort. Time and effort that, frankly, I could have spent that time sleeping. To recharge, to go and go, and go back to learn my CFE, go and learn my Ghana Stock Exchange courses, whatever. But so much time and attention was devoted to that. And I realized that now, for me to get where I need to get to, I need to, you know, as as the word go, as the the term goes, settle down, to focus. Because if you are not, as a, I speak from a man's point of view. If you are as a young man, if you are not focused, especially I, uh, in the first three years of your career outside of when you leave university, national service plus next two years, if you are not killing yourself, spending weekends working, going the extra mile, and you are just spending that time chasing around, Charlie, there's only so far your 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 career can grow, you know. So I focused and, um, well, I I wish I could say hundred percent it helped out, but at least it's better than when I was when I would, when I hadn't focused because I was all over the place, right? Um, I think that distraction can reduce your future earning capacity. There's only so much you can do with the 24 hours in a day. If you are spending all that energy running around, chasing people, I'm not, and I'm not even started talking about the money that you are spending, just that time and attention, I think it would um, 
it, it would affect your future earning potential. So yeah, that's that's one part, uh, one aspect I see. Any other, any thoughts on this or any other ways that uh, someone who is not yet married, yeah, chase running around can affect you? Yeah, Prince, go ahead. Okay, so um, uh, thank you for for that, and uh, I think I find myself within that space of um, somebody who has not yet settled down. So um, I think um, knowing that you've not settled down. Uh, within this, when you find yourself in this stage, and as Elikem, you rightly said, if you are not quite disciplined, you will, and you are not quite focused, you will be sway away um, majority of the cases when it comes to you dealing with the opposite sex. Uh, let, me, let me say this because, um, obviously, when every man, let me put it that way, every man, when you you are really in school, uh, you've not yet completed, and um, money is not coming. I mean, women is not a thing that you even think about. You, you probably um, won't even consider it. But when money starts coming into your hands, um, and you feel like at least at the end of the month, you have some solid income coming in, I mean, you have some of these thoughts, and... Um, if you are not quite disciplined, um, you might give in to some of these things, and you might it, it will it will quite, quite spoil your future. And you might you have to also understand that within the space of work you find yourself, um, let's say in the banking industry, I find myself in the insurance industry. Uh, the kind of engagement I do on a daily basis, I meet a lot of people. Uh, I do presentation for people. I I go to companies to market, I meet a lot of people. Now, you meet people that just for meeting you, they like you. Like, you've not really met them for a while, but they meeting you, oh, I like the way you are dressed, and you strike some bond, and then you can you can be conversing. If you really, somebody who is not principal, and you don't have boundaries, and you don't set it direct with the person, um, it, can, it can turn into something else for you. And I have some experiences with that regard. So uh, for the young people who have not um, yet settled down, this is this is very real. It is happening. And the better you discipline yourself to that regard, the more focused you will be to your long-term uh, uh, goals. Because um, I think the last time you were saying, we had a, we had a, a money conversation that I think we were trying to share about our uh, dreams that we want to achieve, and I think somebody made the comment that's like you there. It's like more like school, 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 school. I feel this is the time for me to do the school, 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 school. So that at the end of the day, when I settle, I'll I'll, I'll have time for uh, my woman. I mean, school will not become something that I'll be juggling between my marriage and school, right? And within this period, I find myself if I'm not focused to get this sorted out, to get all the qualification I want to get, and make sure that. I leverage on it for me to increase my earning potential. I mean, it won't happen. So for me, I always preach discipline, discipline, because for the masses are there, the, the ladies there, they are there. I mean, those who are even willing to give it to you without you not even paying, they are there. But it's about you, the person, what you want and what you seek out of life. I think with these two in perspective, you can focus and do what you want to do, and you'll be fine. Thank you. Hmm. Prince is advocating for focus. Yeah, as someone who is in that space, the pre-marriage space. So advice for young men who are not yet married. Focus now on your on your career, and then later, when things are good, you can spend more time with your woman, as Prince has said. Okay, Thanks for that. Mimi, how about you? Any points? We, we keep going round and round till we adjust to the topic. So there's something that both of you said um, that I, I want to use to play the devil's advocate. So both of you said that when you, you weren't making money, you weren't really chasing women. I tend to find out that men can be, forgive me to say, um, a bit lazy when they don't have some woman they are chasing or some woman that's on them giving them pressure for money. 
So some way, somehow, I also believe, and and and, and <laughs> I, I'm not encouraging anybody. I'm just saying something. I also believe that um, to be promiscuous, you have to be ambitious enough to make money because it's a lot of money catering for two or three girls in this Accra in 2023 where fried rice is not enough. I would want an iPhone. I want you to pay my rent. And for some men, they may see it as a fuel. They may see it as a, a way of pushing them to do more, to, you know, to be more ambitious. Um, but that said, I, I, I'm a woman, and I don't know how men ma- manage multiple women, to be honest. So I also feel like you said, would, would you even have the peace of mind to focus on on your work? I feel like it may come with a lot of drama, knowing the way we can be as women. But anyway, what do I know? <laughs> Yeah, this this point you've mentioned about the uh, drama, I think it's is also a very good point. If if one person alone is going to bring so much drama, imagine two, three, four, or everybody some Charlie. That's that's a whole lot of stress. Now to the earlier part of what Mimi was saying, Mimi, let me be a devil's advocate to your devil's advocacy. Charlie, hmm. if 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 there's a man who requires a woman to be uh, to push him, that person or no. He's not there yet. I don't dispute that there are people like that. But I've also realized back some time back, my my the people I knew, my some of my friends who were very prolific, um pro- prolific, what was the right word? Uh, should I say Casanovas? Charlie, they were very your friends say, um they were very unemployed, <laughs> if they such a team. They were chronically unemployed. One of the things you realize about those people is they have time on their hands to chat with these girls and talk to them, make them feel good. Vibes. Meanwhile, me, I don't have this time, Charlie. Not now that you're coming to disturb me with this and that. He does have money. But when we are going to jam, every every one of every uh, every time we go and jam, one of them will feature. So, you know that the way we jam in Ghana, at least when I was around, was there's usually one or two chairmen who handle their bill. So the rest of the satellites who come and play some, they they, they don't have to worry. Just show up with the entertainment, and we we'll all have fun. So that's how he uses to you know appease those ones. And when some small comes in his in his pockets yeah he would do some show every now and then so they they had time they had time and what else are they doing it's not like they are busy working and so they will, they will be leading with their um, with their belt and be, below their belt that's that's how they'll be thinking so uh, I, I think those people have time uh, um another so uh yeah speaking of or well, or oh, let me raise okay before i bring up another point let's hear from adam adam do you have any any thoughts on how promiscuity can affect someone who is not yet married it could be man or woman or oh maybe hello around this, hello Adam. or maybe around yeah, this place, so the, the internet it's, uh-huh. it's okay. It's a bit okay. <laughs> oh okay okay mimi's area here is like internet baby that triangle triangle <laughs> i kid you not <laughs> so uh i think generally um what what um Friends and yourself and Mimi, you have all said it's uh, it's in order. Me, I well, for me, I'm a bit introverted, so I I I, I think that somebody who can be promiscuous really has to cons- have a lot of energy to be able to deal with multiple people at a time. Because me engaging me one person, guys, a lot of work. So for for me, if I look at the, the the idea of promiscuity. I believe that people have to really have a lot of energy being dissipated to be able to engage in that. So off the top of my head, what comes to my mind is that for somebody who is that is a high level or high energy person to be able to sustain all these kinds of relationships, uh, no matter the dynamics of those relationships. Because like Mimi was talking about drama. Yeah, I mean Imagine the, the different kinds of drama you have to be dealing with. 
uh, maybe a Kanjama in one side, two kids in a way in another side, and all of that. So for for people who are promiscuous, that 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 is uh, they have a lot of energy, and uh, I feel that that can be it can be an energy sapping adventure to, to also engage in. Yeah, so of that will be my initial observation and point. Mm, thank you, Adam. An energy sapping uh, activity. So much of your energy will go into keeping your all, all those things in check, facing all the different types of drama that come from different types of personalities. Yeah, that's that's a good point. You know, let me let me add a few more, and then maybe we we'll hear a perspective like how it affects a woman. In fact, I see some ladies in in the audience. Danielle and Efriye, please feel free to chip in on this point. You can send a message or, or or request the mic if you want to speak up so that we hear from a woman's perspective too. Prince, you said? Yeah, Efriye says he wants to share share a story so he can give her the platform. Right? Oh, when okay, 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 okay. Then let me invite Efriye to speak. Okay, cool, cool. I, Prince, I know this one. You're just trying to stress Efriye, but no worry, I agree with you. Let's oh, no, we, he told me before we joined Money Congress. So, ah, okay, um, okay. That we should give her the platform. Okay. Yeah, when it gets uh-huh. to the woman's side, yeah. Uh-huh. So Efriye, please, the platform is, is available for you. Feel free to request for the mic. Or oh, I've sent you a, a, a request. Join us up here. But yeah, some rapid fire points for um, an an uh, that would affect people. Well, an unmarried man, if you can't control your libido, and see, as as men, as young men, Charlie, we we get unrealistically horny. I know it happens, it happens. But you you have to be disciplined, especially in the areas in the places that you take that horniness to. Isn't it just annoying? Wouldn't it be just annoying for you that? You work hard and build your career. You work very hard. And then one day, somebody will just say, even though you are an expert in your industry, a top guy will say, oh, this guy, he's been chopping the girls in the office. That's all you get reduced to. That's all you get reduced to. So my point is your reputation. You have to guard your reputation. Promiscuity can affect your reputation. I said, man, I find it pretty annoying that how I, I conduct myself and how I enjoy my life. Somebody will come and say, okay, because of that, or we want to sack you, maybe at the CEO, so no, we don't like that. I'm like, even if you do it outside of work, it's on my personal time, it's my own business, but fact of life is, it is one of those things that people say, uh, whether it's for morality reasons or whatever, however you want to live your life, they want to dictate it to you. So if you have somewhere that you are intending to go, the kind of people you want to do business with, all these things, the they would affect your reputation and some people may not want to be aligned with you. So do you really want to limit your earning potential? Do you really want to limit the opportunities you have? If the reputation that will come out of this is this guy, he's an arrow, he's this guy, you know, you chase anything in scared. It diminishes all your achievements, all your hard work to just that simple thing. Nah. Also, the kind if if you are just chasing everyone in discre- uh, chasing multiple people indiscriminately, sometimes everything will be going on well with you. Then somebody somewhere will go and open her mouth. Yusuf, you came to you you chased the, you chased the hair. Then the then it just it just looks makes you look bad. Um, I think every now and then there's someone who comes up on social media coming to open keys. Should I mention the name? I know the name, but I don't want to. If you, that's in if you know you know. Every now and then she comes, when she's in some kind of mood, then she comes and releases keys of prominent people who have either approached her or she's done things with. Now, it, once you get on, once you are mentioning such a roll call, all your points, all your hard work is just diminished. And for somebody who works very hard for my reputation, I'm like, it's not worth it. That juice is not worth the squeeze, man, Charlie. You get someone who is, if you get someone who is decent, and I know some people will say, you get some one or two. Again, this is not a moral discussion. This is just looking at it about the practicality of it. Decent people who are discreet and you can enjoy life, you know, you can enjoy your, yourself because I think that's also a part of hu- your, your human life that you need to take seriously. And avoid all the drama that will come with it. That reputational risk is just too much for, for people, uh, for, for you as a man who is going places to be involved in. 
I think that even on the side on the issue of reputation, it actually works both ways or uh, for for young women. There are some young women who would get some favors from men and some uh, there are some people some some young ladies they've gotten certain free gifts because they've been dating, they've been doing their uh, sugar daddies and those and those boyfriends that provide everything for them. When when they turn t- uh, thirty, it becomes a whole different thing, you know, especially when they don't find someone to lock down early. And you get when you get that reputation, like people say, oh this this girl, she does sugar daddy so oh that's how she's been. Like your reputation also gets smeared. If you have a, if you are thinking about one day settling down with somebody, um with a with a good reputation or somebody a decent person or even you are going into a certain kind of job some managers may see these things as a risk you know they do social media background checks and all that so that kind of behavior can be very risky to your career some people just may not want to be associated with you so you you just don't want to put on, take that risk on yourself um yeah i have a few more but let's circle, let, let me circle around prince you want to jump into uh, so eloquent. i think um <clears throat> Uh, as Riley said, we should understand that our behavior today is our history tomorrow, right? So, bass, 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 bass. Uh, please, please, on the replay, rewind, rewind. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, my. So, our behavior today is our history for tomorrow. Okay. So, as as people, young people growing up, um, you should get to understand that. Look in history, you look in history. Uh, anytime um, within the blue, we have a lady coming out to say that, oh, this person, I had something with this man, I had something with this man, I had something with this man. It just brings you down. Like, you don't even have to, it, it, the news will just bring you down. And in history, you can, you can talk about a lot of people in Ghana that got involved with some of these things and now you don't even hear their name in, the, in, in, in their space of work again, right? And uh, with, that, with, with that perception, the disgrace that it comes, imagine, imagine you doing this and later get to settle down with a decent woman, somebody who has, I mean, you can't bring this to her and all of a sudden um, people start pointing fingers at that do oh, your husband cry is doing this and doing that i think in itself it's not the best right so for me i feel um in in, in growing up it's very disciplined i think the last time i, I shared a, a quote that um got to said that say that um, a man who controls his stomach his pennies and tongue has solved 99 percent of his problems right and for me i feel now the way our society is, you just have to be disciplined. You just have to be to be careful. And the God factor too is there. I mean, if the God factor is there and you find yourself, uh, you, you are somebody who have a personal relationship with God, He will help you navigate through some of these things because some of these things come without you even knowing, um, based on where the location you find yourself and things that you involve in here and there. You are going for corporate hangouts. You are meeting these people, sometimes the grace of God can take you away from some of these acts. But you have to just be watchful. Be very careful who you deal with. There are some ladies, if you catch them, it will go a long way to affect you, regardless of whatever you are doing. If you touch them, rest my peace. Thank you. That's- this space was downloaded via spacesdown.com. Visit to download your spaces today. That, that's a good um, explanation of the the risk in the, you know. And uh, moving on to an, another point, there's also uh, the issue of the the risk you expose yourself to for sickness, and you know it, it, HIV is has no cure. You have to deal with the drama. You have to deal with the stigma. Like you have to declare it to anyone you are trying to do anything with. I, I, I know in the U.S. It's, it's illegal to get into some kind of situations with people without declaring that you have such a sickness. Imagine all that drama, that, all that tool that you'd be taking on yourself. I've had various statistics at various times of uh, young people in the tens of thousands 
who who have these STDs, you really want to avoid them. Even the ones that are curable, it's it will, it will disrupt your life for a while. Some of them are expensive to treat. It's just a whole lot of hassle that you don't want to. Then there's a very permanent problem. That's when somebody gets pregnant and you do not abort. That one, there's a very permanent one. <laughs> you go buy diapers tire. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that one, it's a problem that goes both ways. If uh, if you if if you have if you get the wrong person pregnant or at the wrong time, or you as a woman you get pregnant at the wrong time, it can affect your career. It can affect your earning capacity. We are not even you don't even have to be a high achieving person. It would it would put your your life if it's unplanned. It will put your life on a course that you don't want. And it's expensive. It's expensive. It limits all your future potential, the kind of people that you can associate with, the kind of events that you can go to because, oh, I have to babysit. Or I have to worry about who is going to babysit. It's If it's unplanned, it brings a whole lot of hassle. So why expose yourself to so much risk? You understand? So you, got, you, have, to, you have to control your libido. You have to control yourself. You have to be be mindful about who you put yourself in a certain position with you understand um then there's let's speak even directly about money Charlie, chasing women comes with money from a man's like saying this from a, from man to man it's expensive i was talking to a friend some time back and it got me thinking about how this concept of dating in ghana when we were growing up dating is not the way it is now in 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 these times that we are looking at the Western world, take me to lunch, take me to dinner. When I looked at my young aunties back in the day, they when they are dating someone, it means, oh, they and this guy, they are, that's her boyfriend, or she's getting to know him. They go for all the events together. They will, you follow him to do his or her or, or her side of him, the birthday parties, the weddings, all those events. And then you are interacting with your people. You are seeing them in different settings. Those ones, they, you are already going to go for that event. Then you just go along. But now, in this day and age, especially where the city and the dollar are doing their dance, the young ladies want to want you to take them to places that have nice background, like Capitol and uh, is it, those mirrors in those places, those famous walls. They want you to take them. Then they'll be taking videos. You always see the food, but you never see the payer of the food. You understand all those things. So if you, if especially those are the kind of people that you are trying to be with your boy, Ube Bokao, you will go broke. And especially for people and for men under 30, you don't have the earning capacity of men above 30. So leave the under 30s women for us. You understand? Don't try and compete with us. Do not <laughs> focus on your career. Dennis, are you listening? When it was our turn, they were doing it to us. It is right of passage. Focus on your career. When you're above 30, you have money and you can compete like this. But for now... Hey, yes. For now, we too, it is our turn that we can remove money from our back pocket to be doing these kind of things. This money is going to be your whole salary. We'll remove from our back pocket. So do not compete. See, brother to brother, I'm telling you. Because... <laughs> I have a, one of my classmates, he's, he's, he's taking a semester of and he's back in Ghana and he's talking and, and he's like, bro, see here yeah, at this particular juncture, Charlie, where the economy is as small as money, you just be chopping the girls all over, left, right, center, forward. See, with where inflation is, where things cost are, expensive, are so high, you don't have the disposable income, my brother, mind your business. Find some, if you want, if you can find some good girl who she, she's not... She's not doesn't require so much money from you. Fine, but this woman, just just the fuel that you used to transport from here and there. And and this one now, I'm going to I'm going to annoy people. If you make the mistake of going to to chase somebody in wager and kaswa daily, daily, your money will be going out in fuel every day. If you make that mistake, meanwhile you two are staying in Tema or Spintex, or you are the unfortunate one living in wager and kaswa, you are chasing. If we are in Regimanual Estates, Ube Boka, please, guys, let's let's get serious. It's expensive. Dating is expensive. Allah, Allah. So, mm -hmm. Anna Prince, am I oh, pepe, 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 Yeah, because yeah. she, yeah, she, where she's been dining, you can't, you can't, you can't. So we have to leave her for elegance. 
<laughs> please, so please. It was just I was I was talking about me and my my age mates, and I'm I'm just representing <laughs> them here. It's not for me. No, baby, no, baby. I worry you. Know, you. No, but, Oh no, but you know, it's I, I tell you what, when lately when I talk to my best friend, we are like when we we're young, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm 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 a clean person. I, like I said, it's not this is not a moral conversation. It is a very practical conversation. But the older we get, the more exposed we are to certain things, the kind of like at a certain point, everything was potential. But right now, why I see it is not potential again, it is actual. I need to be very careful. You understand? There are certain mistakes that I made when I was young. You, you get me? Like there was a time when I was uh, when, when I was doing my national service. I had some. I was me. I was seeing a girl who was also doing a national service in my office. Office office romance. I'll never make that mistake again. Never ever make that mistake again. When she vexed, the whole office will find out. Hey, don't try it. Don't try it. You know some of these things. Like we've done it and we've we've suffered. We 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 didn't have it to blow back on us so hard and we've been fortunate we didn't make very we didn't make stupid uh extremely stupid mistakes like those things could have gone really left easily but we've been fortunate and we've gone through that and nothing bad happened but the risks are high and higher and and back to something prince you were saying earlier see life is unforgiving your presence today is your history for tomorrow is what will be your history for tomorrow people say oh ignore my no but ignore my past massa massa nobody's ignoring your past so please this one, dear, no one will ignore your past. So you need to be very careful about the things you do now. If you think you're enjoying your life, if you're in your prime, you still need to behave properly. You understand? Anyway, um, how about how about we swing over to ma- when you are married? When, when you are married, the kind of risks it brings. Let's 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 hear from the married one among us. Mimi, how about you? <laughs> Any any thoughts on the risks? Well, I think it's the same, but worse, um, because societally, um, at least when you are single and you are playing around, people understand more. Um, but when you are married, uh, people sort of expect more from you. Even those um, we've come to accept, a lot of people have accepted that, that men are cheat or whatever. Still. Um, I mean, till you are caught, it's not. Mm, Mimi's me, me, me own inter- area internet is affecting her now. It's not my internet, it's a timer on my phone. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so I mean, it, people accept it till you are caught, then it becomes a big deal, right? And I, I just cast my mind back to uh, this issue that was all over social media. The, I've forgotten the details. But the lady, say you um, <laughs> first, first Atlantic Bank. Yes. Hey. I mean, hmm. that was so embarrassing. So, so, so embarrassing. I, I don't know him. I don't know how he will come out of it. Maybe he's already come out of it for his kids, for his, his uh, wife, or I don't know. I don't know. But I think when you are married, the, the repercussions are, are worse. You know, especially when you are in a place where you are so respected, people look up to you. Yes. I mean, till you are caught, people sort of give you a bit of room. But once you are caught, it's an abomination, you know. So, um, yeah, I, 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 and then remember that also for some rules, uh, marriage, for, sometimes married men are seen as more responsible, you know, because they are taking up a, a lot more responsibilities, etc. E- so when you also do that, I feel like it affects that reputation. Like that um, positive thing you got from being married, it affects it. Like you are no longer who we thought you were. So I think my, for, for those who are married, it's a bit worse. And it, it can also affect your family. Because I remember a, a client of mine um, had a side check. And what he told me was, he, I think he saw it as a social welfare scheme. That, that's how it sounded like, where he's helping this girl pay rent. And I think in, in, in exchange, he also gets his things done. 
you know and <laughs> and I, I mean this is money that he could have probably used to take to his kids to a better school probably saved for his retirement probably afforded a better life for himself not something else but he's paying rent and i doubt it will end that rent you have to buy data one or two days here and there and i remember um i also his wife is also a client so when she was feeling the beneficiary she said that oh this man you give somebody else the money so you know she didn't write his name so <laughs> even the mistress you miss out on some money that you would have gotten if you know the unexpected happened and your wife passed away because she doesn't trust you anyway Charlie, hmm, this matter hmm. maybe he said he's doing service public service allow him to do his public service eh? but anyway there are better uses for that public service like donating it to money convo so that we can use it to further financial literacy in ghana Yes, uh, we are. If if you want to send donations, if you if you feel an urge to help the world to help society, let's help you avoid trouble. You just send us that monthly rent, send it to us. We can give you an account of how we spend that money, rather than going to spend it elsewhere. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, but maybe there are so many things that you said that we could react to. Yeah, I, I, and I just want to react to a few of them. News flash: Women also cheat. I, I, up until like two, three years ago, I naively thought, oh, men, men are the ones who cheat, Charlie. I've been hearing very vivid accounts. I'm telling you, women cheat. Women cheat a lot. Uh huh. And those of us who are, in, uh, who are in the West, dear, forgets, forgets. That one, dear, scatter everywhere. The, the, the game is the game. I said, them will say, the, 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 the pool has, they've been, they pissed in the pool too much. Anyway, um, also about married people when they cheat, you see, you, you, you mentioned that it seems it's, people are okay with it. Like, I think there's, I don't want to worry about the reasons why people do what they do. It is what it is. You suffer the consequences, whatever your reasons are. We are just, it's not a moral discussion, right? But there is, uh, it's like the way our Ghanaian society is, we just, we just know or take it for a given that uh, proving guilty until innocent that a man will cheat. Okay, fine. Back in the day, when that's when that kind of culture was there, and then the the mad the wives they didn't mind they would turn a blind eye, just don't do it too disrespectfully. Blah blah blah. All those things. The OGs is fine. Even among the higher echelons of the more the richer people there. The, the man has a side piece. The woman too has a side piece. Everybody is just enjoying their life the way they want to. Are the children taken care of? Yes. Is there food on the table? Yes. Do we have a secure roof over our head? Yes. Is there some stability? Yes. Then what else do you want? Like, what are you complaining about again? Huh? Those people are gone. No, 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 no. Not our generation. Our generation, hell hath no fury. Like the wrath of a woman scorned. No, don't try this. Don't try this at home, please. If you go and try this, if you just go back and play back our conversation that we had on um, on uh, the financial implications of divorce, if you are not, if you don't set up things right, in fact, there's not much you can do. If you have assets, if there are children involved, forget it. it you'll be bled dry. You'll be bled dry. That's how the law works. It's in, the, it's in favor of women. So as a man, if you, ha if you have children, you have assets, and you want to be promiscuous, be careful. Because it will come expensively to you. Um, maybe you were, you were saying something about, um, men, who, like when you are married, people will say you are responsible and they will give you set, or they will give you certain, it's last like a halo effect again to, to men. As those who are not yet married, just some advice to you. Those who are to just, you, you know this already. Married men have markets. There's a certain kind of appeal that's, some women like about married men. Oh, they are responsible and blah, blah, blah. So you have to guide yourself very well so that you don't fall into that temptation. But anyway, um, let, let me see the, to see the mic to Prince. Prince, any thoughts? Yeah, so um, um, what what Billy said, I just wanted to share an experience, right? Yeah, so um, a client took a policy with us, right? Um, and uh, in the course of... Um, 
completing the application form. You know, we normally request for a beneficiary, and um, we we had two sides to the beneficiary. We have the primary, and then we have the contingency, right? Now, if the primary one is not there, then it means that the proceeds move to the contingent beneficiary, right? And apparently, when the man was completing the form, he he stated he gave two names. So one was the wife, and the one was the girlfriend. Now the girlfriend was the primary beneficiary, and then the wife was the contingent beneficiary, right? Now there was a claim to be made on the policy, and it was so shocking that the the um. The wife came to the organization and got to realize that the first point of call was for the company to give the proceeds to the girlfriend. And it became a very big issue because you uh, knowing that oh, I'm there with my husband and he has a policy, touch wood, he's no more for me to get the proceeds. He's going to another lady and this, this is a man I have children with it came as a blow to the woman, right? So uh, some of these things happen. So imagine if the wife was the person taking the process. You can see the kind of relief and then the kind of financial burden that would have been taken out of the struggles that she's going through to take taking care of the kids. But here is the case that the man lived, left and and I, the payout as a then was was half a million. So you can imagine what that money could have done uh, for, for the family. But here's the case, the woman had to... Uh, it was on paper. There was nothing we can do from the insurance company's perspective. So we had to do what we had to do. We had to invite the lady and pay the proceeds to the lady. So um, as we have already said, uh, some of these things, you might, you might think that... Um, you are doing that the blind side of maybe your wife or your husband, but there are certain things that can happen that when the truth is known, it can it can go ahead to affect your entire generation. I mean, the woman can decide not to take care of the kids if she's not, she's somebody who is not godly, because if your father can do this to me, where where do you expect me to get the money from to take care of the, of the kids, right? And um, that is one uh, scenario. Um, Another scenario I wanted to share was um, um, a case involving a married man uh, who um, got married some weeks ago, had gone through all the process, done medicals and everything, and got married. So there was a, uh, in about a year, um, the person had to, the person is, was a corporate worker, so there were instances they had to go and uh, donate blood as, a, as I mean, donating blood exercise, and he went to donate his blood. So immediately he got to the office, then he had a call from the hospital that they were trying to, the samples that they got, they have realized that there's a problem with his particular sample, so he should come to the, to, to, the hospital. So he became a little bit disturbed. Hey, what, what could possibly be wrong? So he went to the hospital and he got to know that the doctor informed him that the samples they took, when they were testing the sample, they realized that he's having STDs. So he should come to the hospital with the wife. Wow. So he went home. Well, this is somebody who your wife just delivered, and I you certainly know that before a woman would deliver, he had done all the necessary tests to ensure the safety of the baby. So he went to tell the wife that uh, the doctor said they should come. And you see, this is something that can easily lead to a divorce. So the doctors tried to manage the situation very well. So they made the woman do some tests, but they really they, they got to know that the woman was was fine. So the later when the woman left, the wife left, then the, the doctors won't really understand where the man is, is coming, get, got this thing from. And then the man had to confess to them that um, he, 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 he engages in promiscuity, and that is the result of 
So the doctors had to let him let him call the lady in question for for the lady to come so that they can start treatment with the STD STI. So you can you can imagine all that we are sharing. You can imagine this particular one. For me, when when I got to head hear this, I was very much concerned for the wife, not even for the husband, because imagine if he had touched the woman or had some intimacy to do with the woman and the woman was also affected with this STI. And what about if it wasn't it's something that is not curable? You can see the kind of um, um, like you've messed everything up. You've messed everything up. Your your, your life and then um, your wife and then your family, right? So just to share that these things are real. These things are, are happening. And recently, I think Ghana East Commission came out that there are about 100,000 Ghanaians that have not, they are living with HIV that has not been found. So you can imagine how serious it is. For me, yeah, even if you are to get pregnant and you know that um, the lady in question doesn't have any of these things, it's, it's, it's good. Even if um, you, you, you become worried about it, definitely you find a way around it. But if it's something that you know that there's no cure for it, you are, you are, it, it has, you are doomed for life. You can imagine the impact that it will bring to you. So um, all these things we are sharing, I mean, we've gotten the perspective from uh, Mimi, who is married. Um, Elikem, too, have, has shared some experience on it. I've also shared, let's, let's look at it and put it into perspective in our life. So that at the end of the day, a brighter future that you are aspiring to get, you wouldn't jeopardize it with a three minutes pleasure or something that can cost you your whole life. Thank you. Thank you, Prince. Thank you, Talek. <laughs> These stories. <laughs> all, all I can say is, <laughs> because, Charlie, this is heavy, man. This is heavy. How do you, how do you navigate these problems after they've had, after they've, they've come? As some, and uh, like Prince's advice at the end is, uh, is saying, somebody will say, provision is better than kiosk. So prevention is better than cure. It's way easier to prevent things than to cure them. So please, let's keep all this advice in mind. I think this is a good way to wrap up. And uh, I would, perhaps just one more point. There are some people that they, you may think that promiscuity is, uh, if okay, if you if you are rich, you can afford it. That's okay. I know some very rich men in Ghana who have many many children. Okay, but. If you are not there yet, do you really want to play that game? Do you want to roll the dice? It will really, it will really affect you. And if you are, if you are not there to, yet too, do you really want all that distraction, all that expense? Do you want to be building houses? The money that you used to buy cement bags and be making mortgage payments, you want to use that to go into people's stomachs and their wigs and those things. Do you want to put yourself at all these risks? Chances are. Just, just to make sure, can anyone hear me? Prince, can you hear me? Yes, okay, please, I okay. can. Now, I guess we, we may have lost Adam and Mimi then. Or if you are speaking, you are muted. But yeah, um, well, well oh. okay, Adam. Aha, uh -huh, yes, we've got you now. I think I thought Mimi's house not too Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Labadi Bermuda Triangle. Okay, all right. Hey, is it, is it Labadi or Teshi? Well, one of them. Okay, Adam, do you have any concluding thoughts for us on this topic? Oh, I think um, Prince has dropped a lot of bars already. So I, I think I will just conclude with that and say, look, some of these things are not worth it. You just have to see the money. Yeah, we are working very hard for it. So if you get it, you need to enjoy it. But when you are enjoying it, you have to be careful that you don't bring yourself back again to square one. And then you will be found one thing. So, I mean, let's think about the future, how we can build generational wealth for our children and make the society a better place. And then, in fact, me, I, I prefer not to have a complicated life, basically. Even though peace is the name of someone in the world, I, Charlie, we all, we all need, so, Charlie, let's, let's, let's look at the broader picture and work towards that. And then, I'm sure, like you said, some of these things, as we are living it, we are big, we are writing our history that will be told 
in some years to come. So that is what I would say to encourage each and every one of us to, to look forward into the future and then have a, a good history written down for ourselves. Yeah. Thank you, Adam. Behave well so that we have a good history written down for ourselves and we don't have to explain tire else behave that way you go explain tire and we still no go catch anyway mimi do we have you now yeah anything yeah mimi any concluding thoughts for us yeah i mean i'm sure for those who engage in these things it's exciting it's thrilling etc but Sometimes these things have both short-term and long-term implications on not just us, but generations unborn. So um, even though it's, it's a nice thing for some people to have in quotes, um, it's important to look at the bigger picture. I mean, the story about the guy putting his sleep, his side check there for half a million, that, that's mean. Anyway, I mean, these are things that you really have to think through as a person. Um, unless maybe the wife has done something to you. But how about the children? So um, I, I think that these things have repercussions. Um, there are families that are fighting just because daddy had five wives or daddy had some babies all over the place. You are in heaven, hopefully, but there's chaos on earth. And so I think there's a need for us to think beyond our five minutes needs. And I mean, um, try as much as possible to be disciplined. And uh, yeah, I know it's not easy, but I'm sure the end result would, would be a blessing. Yeah, so that, that's what I'll say about that. And uh, yes, yeah, these days is, is both ways, but when it comes to finances, because of the way society is at least in this side of town, financially, it may affect the men more than the women. So um, we, we should all look at it, but just think about the long term. You know, what kind of legacy am I leaving for my children? Um, can I do better? And and uh, let let the chick go, let the uni girl go. Mimi says, let them go. Faru, let her people go. Let her people go, so that you can have peace and save yourself all that drama and cost. Thank you, Mimi, for those words. Yeah. So to anyone who missed this conversation, go check us. Go go play back the um the recording here on X or Twitter in a few minutes after it's done, or or later you can check on YouTube or wherever you listen to your podcast, where it will be available for you to play back. Um, if you've not followed us here, do follow us. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And um, while you are at it, on Instagram, follow at investments underscore friend. At Money Convos, we have more general conversations about financial literacy, about self-development, about money. But with investment friend, it's more targeted at you. We consider what's what your situation is and we give you the necessary help that you would need and the contents there is very fun it's engaging so don't miss out on it if you've already followed share the word with other people so that they can also follow hopefully in five years when we are all um when we are all financially independent the people around us will also be financially independent so that there won't be burdens on us and we'll all grow, grow, grow. All right. Thank you all for joining this evening. I wish you a very productive week. And um, no matter where, which your position on this topic, I hope we've given you some points to reflect on it to ensure that you don't make any risky moves and you, you protect yourself and you protect your future. All right. Have a good night. I'll catch you same time next week, 8 p.m. GMT on Sunday. Goodbye. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our thoughts. I hope you learned a thing or two and start practicing. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Clubhouse and Facebook. And subscribe to our YouTube and podcast. Do tell a friend about Money Convos so we all become wealthy together. Talk to you soon. Bye.